nama Stefano Sulutwene and I'm thrilled to welcome you to the Corporate Finance Course as part of my MBA journey at IPMI International Business School. An open decision will embark on fascinating exploration of the intricate world financial decision making. And from financial principles like the time value of money to the advanced strategies of capital budgeting, securities analysis, and international finance. But before that, I would like to explain some of the concepts given by Professor Roy Semple during the first week of the class such as Corporate Finance Concept. First one, McKinsey for cornerstone of corporate finance. Growth, risk, efficiency, and financing are four cornerstones of the corporate finance according to McKinsey and Ramcharan's five business essential. According to Ramcharan, the five business essential are cash generation, profitable growth, customer satisfaction, and growth engagement, and core capabilities. Sources of business value creation. Business value can be created through factors such as innovation, operational efficiency, customer satisfaction, and effective management. Triple bottom lines related to ESG, the triple bottom line considers social, environmental, and financial. Performance it is related to ESG factors reflecting a broader approach to corporate responsibility. Balance scorecard. What are its components? The balance scorecard includes financial, customer, internal processes, and learning and growth perspective as its components. And difference between depreciation and amortization. Depreciation applies to tangible assets, while amortization applies to intangible assets. Example of intangible assets. Intangible assets include patents, trademark, copyright, and goodwill. Now let us continue. Financial management involves planning, organizing, directing, and controlling an entity's financial resources. This includes activities like budgeting, financial forecasting, cash flow management, and making strategic investment decisions. Here are some key aspects. Budgeting financial management starts with creating budget. This is essential a roadmap that outlines how much money is expected to come in and how it will be allocated across various expenses. Financial planning. This involves outlining the financial future of the organization. Financial manager needs to anticipate the financial needs of the company and make plans to meet those needs. Cash flow management. Managing the flow of cash is crucial. It's not just about how much money comes in, but also when it comes in and how it used. Risk management financial managers are also responsible for assessing and mitigating financial risk. Investment decisions. Financial management includes making smart investment choices. This could involve decisions about where to invest surplus fund to generate return or making capital expenditure for long-term growth. Financial reporting. Keeping stakeholders informed is crucial. Financial manager prepare and analyze financial reports that provide insight into the financial health of the organization. The time value of money is a fundamental concept in corporate finance that recognizes the idea that a sum of money has different values at different points in time. In a sense, it's the principle that a dollar today is worth more than a dollar in the future, and vice versa. This concept is crucial for various financial decisions and analysis in corporate finance. Here's why. Present value is the concept that future sum of money is worth less than its nominal amount today. This is because of the potential to earn interest or return on the investment. Future value is the opposite of present value. It calculates the worth of present sum of money at the specific future date considering a certain interest rate or rate of return. Discounting and compounding. Discounting is the process of finding the present value of a future sum of money, while compounding is the process of finding the future value of a present sum of money. Net present value is a critical tool in capital budgeting decision. It involves calculating the present value of expected future cash flow generated by and subtracting the initial cost of the investment. Opportunity cost. Time value of money helps in assessing opportunity cost of financial decisions. By understanding the time value of money, financial manager can evaluate whether to invest funds in projects, stock, bonds, or other opportunities. Cost of capital. 
The cost of capital is the required rate of return that an investment must generate to be considered worthwhile. Capital budgeting is a strategic process used in corporate finance to evaluate and select long-term investment projects or expenditure that involves significant capital outlays. Here are the key elements and steps involved in capital budgeting. Project Identification The first step is to identify potential investment opportunities or projects that align with the company's strategic objective. Estimation of the cash flow once potential projects are identified. The next step is to estimate the cash inflows and outflows associated with each project over its expected lifespan. Time value of money consideration As mentioned earlier, understanding the time value of money is crucial. Cash flow occurring at different points in time are discounted back to the present value to ensure consistent basis for comparison. Calculation of net present value is a key metric in capital budgeting. Internal rate of return analysis is another important metric used in capital budgeting. It represents the discount rate with the net present value of project become zero. Payback period. The payback period is the time it takes for the initial investment to be recovered from the project net cash inflows. Risk analysis capital budgeting also involves assessing the risk associated with its project. This includes considering factors such as market condition, competition, and the potential for unexpected event that could impact the project success. Decision making. Based on the analysis of these factors, financial manager make decision about which project to undertake. Project with positive NPV, attractive IRR, and reasonable payback periods are generally preferred. Analysis of security and portfolio investment are key concepts in finance that involve evaluating individual securities like stock, bonds, and constructing a portfolio of this asset. Let's break down this concept. Analysis of securities Stock analysis When it comes to stock, investors perform fundamental analysis to assess a company's financial health, earning potential, management quality, and industry trends, and other factors. Bond analysis For bonds, Investors consider factors such as the issuer, credit worthiness, interest rates, maturity, and economic environment. Portfolio investment Diversification portfolio investment involves constructing a mix of different securities to achieve diversification. Asset allocation Investors decide on the proportion of their portfolio allocated to different asset classes like stock, bonds, cash, and etc. Risk and return optimization. Investors seek to optimize the trade-off between risk and return. Capital structure. Capital structure refers to the mix of debt and equity financing that a company uses to fund its operation and investments. Debt versus equity. Deciding on the optimal capital structure in for determining right balance between debt and equity. Financial leverage. The use of debt introduces financial leverage, amplifying return to shareholder when the company performs well. However, it also increases the risk as interest payments must be made regardless of the company's profitability. Corporate restructuring Definition corporate restructuring refers to significant changes in company's organizational structure, operation, or financial structure with the goal of improving efficiency, competitiveness, or financial performance. Forms of restructuring, merger and acquisitions, combining two or more companies through mergers or acquisitions to achieve synergies and strategic objectives. Divestitor selling of business units, subsidiaries, or asset to streamline operation or rise capital. Financial restructuring, modifying a company's capital structure, often involving changes in debt level to enhance financial stability, operational restructuring, making changes to business operations, processes, or functions to improve efficiency and effectiveness. Motivation for restructuring, cost reduction, achieving operational efficiencies and cost savings. Market expansion, entering new market or strengthening market position. Financial distress, addressing financial challenges and improving liquidity. 
strategic focus, aligning business activities with core competencies and strategic goals. Challenges, employ morale. Workforce uncertainty and changes in job roles can impact employ morale. Integration issues, merging different corporate cultures and systems. Regulatory compliance, ensuring compliance with legal and regulatory requirements during restructuring processes. Fraud risk management. Fraud risk management involves identifying, assessing, and mitigating the risk associated with fraudulent activities within an organization. Fraud can take various forms, such as financial fraud, employee fraud, or cyber fraud. Key components. Risk assessment. Identifying areas of vulnerability and assessing the likelihood and impact of potential fraudulent activities. Internal controls. Implementing internal controls to prevent, detect, and respond to fraudulent activities. This may include segregation of duties, regular audits, and monitoring systems. Whistleblower programs. Establishing mechanisms for employees and stakeholders to report suspected fraudulent activities anonymously. Train and awareness. Providing training to employees to recognize potential signs of fraud and promoting a culture of ethical behavior. Issues in finance. Cost of capital. Determining the cost of capital involves assessing the cost of both debt and equity. Financial distress. Too much debt can lead to financial distress if a company struggles to meet its debt obligation. Balancing risk and return is crucial to avoid financial instability. Agency cost. Conflict of interest between shareholder and management can lead to agency cost. For example, excessive debt may be taken on to benefit management at the expense of shareholders. Tax implication. Tax consideration play a role in capital structure decisions. Interest on debt is tax deductible, making debt financing attractive for tax reasons. International finance. Definition international finance involves the study of financial interactions between countries, including the management of currency, international trade, and cross-border investments. Key components. Foreign exchange market. Foreign exchange market involves the trading of currency and the exchange rates impact international trade and investment. International capital market deal with the flow of capital and cross-border, including foreign direct investment and foreign portfolio investment. International trade finance encompasses the financing and payment mechanism involved in cross-border trade transactions. Dividend policy Definition dividend policy refers to decision a company makes regarding the distribution of profit to shareholders in the form of dividends. Relevance of dividends. Dividends are a way for companies to share profit with shareholders, some investors, especially those seeking regular income, value dividends. Dividend irrelevance theory proposed by Modigliani and Miller. This theory suggests that under certain conditions, dividend policy is irrelevant to the value of a firm. Event analysis. Definition event analysis is a method used in finance to assess the impact of specific events on the value of financial instruments, such as stock or bonds. These events can be company-specific, industry-related, or macroeconomic in nature. Step in event analysis. Identifying events, selecting relevant events that may have significant impact on the financial market. Data collection. Gathering data on the prices and trading volumes of relevant financial instruments before, during, and after the event. Statistical analysis. Applying statistical method to analyze the abnormal return or changes in the financial instrument values that can be attributed to the event. Interpretation. Drawing conclusion about the event impact based on analysis such as whether it led to positive or negative abnormal returns. Portfolio Performance Evaluation Portfolio Performance Evaluation involves assessing the success of an investment portfolio in achieving its objectives and comparing its return to a benchmark or market index. Key Metrics Return on Investment Calculating the percentage gain or loss on the portfolio overall value over a specified period. Risk-adjusted return. 
considering risk in relation to return, commonly measured using metrics like the share ratio or the trainer ratio. Benchmark comparison Comparing the portfolio's performance against a relevant benchmark to assess its relative success. Alpha and Beta Alpha represents the portfolio excess return compared to its expected return, while Beta measures its sensitivity to the market movements. Standard Deviation Evaluating the portfolio volatility to understand the level of risk associated with its return. Drawdown Analysis Assessing the magnitude of portfolio decline from peak to true during specific period. Thank you for joining me on this learning adventure, and I encourage you to apply this principle in your professional endeavors. Here's to empowering financial decision making and a future shaped by strategic insight. Happy learning!